Ooh, you can't see me? Can't hear me? Is this bitch on? Can y'all can feel me? Can y'all see me? Is this bitch recording? What's going on, YouTube land? What's up going on, Facebook land? What's up going on, Instagram? This is your boy DJ's World, and I'm back another. It been a minute. Review on the Braxton's Family Values. Episode, season 6, episode, I think I'm going to get it right, 26. 26, God, Lord have mercy. How many episodes are they going to keep going, honey? <sighs> Y'all, it's been a minute since I did a TV review. Y'all remember all my old subscribers? Y'all remember my old, um, I be doing love and hip-hops and, and it's, uh, empires and all that stuff? Well, honey, I'm back, okay? I'm back, it's popping, and honey, I got so much shit to talk about this episode, it make no damn sense, okay? Child, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot watch that episode. The whole episode made me so mad, okay? The whole episode made me mad, like, I had to do a review on this, that's to say how I feel about it. You get what I'm saying? And it ain't going to be with you long. Let's say how I feel. I'm keep it real. This ain't going to be no edit no edit videos. It's going to be raw, uncut, and straight to the point. Okay? And, and we can agree and disagree on this video. But tell me what y'all thought about this damn episode. Because every scene was kind of like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious? Are you, are you kidding me? Are we doing this shit right now? Are you kidding me? You know what I'm saying? Oh Lord, I should turn on the damn fan because I'm mad as a mother. I'm, I'm mad as hell, and you know I don't want to keep the fan on. And you know, yeah. So I think it's some good lighting. It's a different space. It's a different room. I was trying to get y'all some good light, so this video be some good ass quality. You get what I'm saying? Being a YouTuber ain't easy as you think it is. It's not easy at all. Okay. So, anyway, let's get to this episode because this is so much shit I want to talk about and just get off my damn chest. So, the girls go to Napa Valley, right? The girls go to Napa Valley for Tamar's birthday, right? As a miss of Tamar's birthday, you know, um, what's her name? Oh, Lord, I'm about to say Tawanda, Trina. Tracy, girl, Tracy, girl. And Tracy's birthday is the day after Tamar's birthday. So, all of this, Tamar decides to bring the husbands to the trip with the girls. The only person who did not bring a husband is Tony. I don't know why she didn't bring her husband. She always making it. Every time they go on a trip somewhere, she always have an excuse. I love Tamar, y'all. But every time she, they go somewhere, it's like an excuse for Tony. You get what I'm saying? And everybody's like, why you didn't bring um, Birdman with you? Why you didn't bring... Okay, I understand Birdman got, like, um... Tours and he doing music. Well, I don't know he's still doing music because I haven't heard one single as as this as in today. Like I I cannot I, like whenever I heard a Birdman single, like what ten years ago. Like what is he doing, honey? Is he making cologne? Is he making? I mean, I see in Vegas, I mean, is he, what's it, y'all, what is Birdman doing at this moment of time, then, other than dating Tony Braxton, if y'all can know what he's doing, is he, tell me if I'm missing something, if I'm out of the loop, if, if it's new, if he has an album out, because I have not seen it in stores, like, who buys CDs in, in, in today's age, you get what I'm saying, so, if you guys know what is he doing, I don't keep up with celebrities like that. The only time I keep up with celebrities if they popping in my face or on my Instagram. Then I get the scoop on what the 411 is. But other than that, I, I don't keep up like I used to. Like, but way back before, when I was younger, 
when I was way younger, I used to keep up with the celebrities. I know what was going on. I used to know the tea and then all the things about what about them, what's going on, and the music. They're about to promote this song. They're about to do this album. But they're about to do this. Um, they're about to go to this state, that state. Every single thing I knew about them. But other than that, I don't even give a damn about, about the celebrities. I worry about my damn self and not only my own self. I don't, I, don't keep, I don't keep up like the Kardashians. Like, I don't do that. So, he didn't come. Okay? He didn't come. So, it's Tony. So, you know, Tony didn't, you know, do the events like everybody, the wines hasting, the 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 other, uh, the dinner. Then she came to the couple of dinners, but she didn't go to the other one. She didn't go to the, the, the couple of events they had set up. So, we understand Tony got lupus, okay? But, and then she said she got this skin disease. Like, she can't be in the sun. If she be in the sun, her, her whole, uh, she gets sick. I never heard that before. I never heard that you and you be in the sun for so long, you get a disease from the sun from shining down on you so much. I know when you, I, I mean, the sun is good for you because... It gives you vitamin D and your skin needs it for that extra glow and the, and the, the sun gives you the vitamins that you need in your skin. So, I never heard that before. That's my first time. If you be in the sun, you get some skin disease or sun disease or whatever. I don't know what the hell she was saying, but I, I was like, I never heard no shit like that in my life. About okay, girl. You you get covered up in that hot ass suit. You get kitty suit. You got on, honey, and call it a day. So, she gets there first. Right now, this video is going to be all over the place. It's not going to be ABC. Or oh, y'all know how I do. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. So, the girls get there. They pick the rooms and stuff. Tony gets there be, be, before everybody. Okay? And I'm shocked because Tony used to be late every single time. So, I'm like, girl, you, you are really early, honey. You been how long? You been an hour or two? And, you know, you walked around the house. You walked around the valley. You sit down, have you a couple of, um glasses of wine. You had a little cheese and crackers for a minute. And then you talked on the phone. And then you picked up, went on, picked your room that you wanted. And of course, she picked up the biggest room she she got the chance to see. She did, and she did. And apparently, that was supposed to be Tamar's room and David's room because I'm like. Why is Tony here? Like, where's Tamar? Tamar should be the first. Tamar and Dave should be the first person to be here since it's their birthday. She should have been the one who picked the room. You get what I'm saying? So that was a little bit, a little bit unfair because it's like, okay, yes, Tony, you're the biggest star here, but that doesn't mean you always get the biggest shit in life. You get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You should have like, okay, Tamar, it's your birthday. I'll give you the biggest room and the biggest bathroom and, and the, the balcony and the hot tubs and all that stuff. Okay, I give it to you. Ain't going to be that selfish. So, she, to me, she should have been considerate and gave her sister that. You get what I'm saying? But, and I know that's going to happen. So, everybody picks their own rooms and stuff. Tamar gets there super damn late. As she gets there late. And she skipping down Mary Lane into the house. And she's like, where everybody at? Where everybody at? Ain't nobody gonna greet me? No, bitch. Ain't nobody gonna motherfucking greet you because you got there damn late. Now, everybody's tired. Everybody been waiting for your ass to come. And you didn't show. You didn't, you didn't call, text, and, hey, on my way. You didn't did none of that. So, what are you supposed to I ain't gonna be getting. I ain't gonna jump out my goddamn bed. I'm tired, honey. And I'll be on the damn plane for a goddamn how long? hours and you think I'm supposed to pop out the damn room and greet you hell no you about to find a damn room and and, and 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 sleep in it you get what I'm saying so tell me that's your fault you can't get mad at the sisters for taking the biggest room because you got there late you got there late that's your fault that's not their fault it's not Tam it's t it's not Tony's fault that's your fault and don't be blaming on your man you got there late. Let's be thankful that everybody has showed up with their mans besides Tony, man. How about that? Anyway, moving forward. So, we skipped through all this bullshit. We skipped through all this bullshit. We skipped through all this bullshit. Through, through the extra shit, because I don't want to talk about that shit. 
Let's talk about, about what I want to talk about. Let's them talk about David. Okay. Now, David, listen. Now, I was surprised that David has showed up. Now, he's not. We don't know David. I, I, I'm going to tell, tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the honest truth, y'all. And y'all going to be laughing at this. Can I say it on Facebook? When I saw David on TV, I thought the way he was talking, the way he was coming from, okay, maybe I'm judging. I don't know. I thought he was gay. I thought he was gay. Y'all don't scream at me. Don't kick, kick, don't cuss my ass out. I thought the man was gay. Honest truth, I thought the man was gay. I said, when I heard his voice, when I see him, I said, this man's gay. Now, why the hell Tamar? I said, I understand Tamar like the gay folks. I understand she like the gay men's in the courtship and all that going on. I appreciate you, Tamar, for the like you're a gay man. And, 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 you know, and respecting them and supporting them. But at the same time, I was like, Tamar, now you do, uh, you do, uh, how that gonna work, girl? Because he's gay and you, you, you dating him and, oh, uh, girl. But, um, they've been dating for a couple, for a while and stuff like that. And I'm really shocked that Tamar is dating and I'm really shocked that, um, and she, and her and the, um, Vince not even divorced yet. She didn't put the papers in for the divorce, so you and Vince still got a relationship together. I mean, y'all not together. I mean, y'all y'all separated, but y'all still married. Y'all still married. Y'all didn't put y'all didn't put the damn papers in for the damn divorce. So y- y'all can't say y'all well, y'all broke up. Y'all y'all separated, but not together. You get what I'm saying? So. The guys, the guys, who give the cigar? Was it, oh, it was Trina, I forgot his name. It was Trina's man. Give everybody, I thought it was a nice, I I thought it was nice for him for doing that. Because if someone gives me a gift, and I put an example out there. I'm not going to deny nobody's gift who gave it to me, honey. I will take it, and I thank you for that, and I will, like, I'm blessed with that gift that you gave me. You get what I'm saying? He gives everybody a cigar. Okay. We understand Tamar don't smoke, okay, all this going on, but don't be nagging your damn band. He's a motherfucking man. If you did that shit to me, and anybody doing that shit to me, I can do the fuck I want them to do. I can't accept his gift to give me a damn cigar. Okay, yes, I don't smoke, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna respect him and appreciate what he gave me. I ain't gonna deny his damn gift. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, you know, do no shit disrespect, disrespect him. You know what I'm saying? For so tame or for you. Just sit up there, snatch that cigar out that man's mouth. If he want to damn smoke, let that man damn smoke. But he got, he got clients and he got this. He working on national TV and people knew. If people knew, okay, let him figure that shit out. Let that man figure that shit out. But you do some shit to me like that, I'm cussing my fucking ass out. Then you gonna look at, then your your dumb ass gonna look all crazy as hell and and say who did and who did who. Let that man be a man, and let him talk to the guys. It doesn't matter he talking too damn much. Stop popping in and every girl, you was getting on my damn nerves with that shit. Every time. He hanging up with the fellas. You popping in. Uh uh-uh, uh. Don't say that. You talking too much. Uh uh-uh. uh. You doing too much. What you doing? Uh, what y'all talking about? No, you got damn business. This is a band's. Go with the girls. Why are y'all in our grill in, in our business? You get what I'm saying? She was, oh girl, she was pissing me off for that shit. And then Tamar was damn right. I mean, Excuse me, Tony. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little, I'm frustrated, honey. 
Tony was right. When they had that conversation talk, Tony said, David, let me talk to my sister because you don't you don't put no man you don't put no your hand over no man's mouth. You don't pull no man no man and all this going on. Have you lost your man mind? And I understand where Tony was coming from. You can't take your anger off of David. Like she always do, y'all. When she gets upset, she take it on somebody who is not their damn fault. And I said, look at Tam Tamar. She's mad for no damn reason. She's hanging out on damn David. And why is she angry? Why is she upset? I That's what kind of pisses me off. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that T- Tony got Tamar ass together with that shit. You don't do no shit like that. He's a man. He's a motherfucking man. He's a grown ass damn man. Does he want them do? Okay, he don't smoke. But if he want to take a puff, that's him. But I sing and all this and all this going on. Okay, girl, you have not. Bitch, what about that episode you did when you and Tony were smoking weed and in the damn backyard, in your damn backyard, when you and Vince was together at the damn time? You, you don't think nobody knew about that? Y'all had a bag of damn weed and y'all sold it on the damn episode. And I was looking like, well, girl, um, is this illegal? Y'all smoking on TV like this? You rolled that shit up, Tamar, and you smoked it. You were singing at the time. You went in the backyard. You said, Tony, come on, let's go in the backyard and smoke this shit. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, Tamar. So when when you said that outside when those girls and those guys was talking and you showed your whole motherfucking ass and that man smoked, you said, I'm t- I got to say, I can't, I can't hear that. Okay, that's fine, Tamar. That's fine. But there's a way you can do it. You just so okay. well clogged up a little bit. Hang on. You there's a way you could have done it. But you took it to the damn left. And then you snatched David. Come on, David. You don't need this shit. That was disrespectful. That was disrespectful. That was really motherfucking disrespectful. How much time I got on here? Seventeen damn minutes. So we gonna keep it on going, bro. So, that hit me. Then we get on to the damn dinner. Okay. We get to the damn dinner. And Tamar's, it's not even Tamar's damn birthday. Okay. So, the whole dinner, Tamar's giving attitude. She's she's pouting and hooting and all this bullshit. I'm like, what's wrong with this bitch? Now, Tamar, Really? Are we, are we really acting like this, girl? Are we really acting like this? In this damn dinner table in front of the... You showing your whole ass in front of these new men. The way you acting. And they just laughing. I would be laughing too. Like, I was I was laughing with um Trina's um boyfriend. Like, she's like, I never seen no... no, no wow. Wow. I now see nobody act like this. Now neither. And then she's she talking and she, uh, Tamar, y'all supposed to give me gifts. Y'all supposed to be giving me Gucci bag. Y'all supposed to be throwing me gifts. Nobody has to give you a goddamn thing, Tamar. Nobody has to give you or throw you any goddamn thing. Your birthday was yesterday. It's today. Your birthday is over. But I understand you want to celebrate your whole birthday for the whole week. I understand that because I do the same damn thing too. And my birth, actually, talking about birthdays, y'all know my birthday's on Monday, so I'll be 26. Yes, honey, 26. So yes, I'm a baby, but I still got it going on. Boom. So, anyway, Tamar, your birthday was over yesterday. You pouted on your birthday, you pouted at the dinner, you pouted at every single thing. You pouted, you complained, you showed your whole ass. Through the whole fucking trip. You showed your negativity. You showed that vibe, girl. Everybody was having a good damn time but you. But you. Then, then this is what pissed me off, y'all. And I remember when this happened. 
Because I was on Instagram when she did this shit on live. And that thing, she bl she blowed up my damn phone. And I said, what the hell is Tamar doing, my girl? So she, y'all may remember this. Because y'all I mean, don't know. When Ta when Trina and, and him got the gay, she we put that shit on in the internet. She put that shit on Instagram. And on Facebook. And I'm looking like, um, Trina's getting engaged, oh my God. But that's not our business. Why Tamar doing it? Tamar was so angry in that video. Tony had to tell her, put the phone down. Do not record this. Do not. And she said, I'm not, I'm not. You showed your whole motherfucking ass. And I do not fucking blame them. You should apologize to them. Because it was nobody in my fucking business to find out about that shit. It was none of us business to find out that they was in my fucking gauge that night. We did knew they was engaged. Thanks to your motherfucking ass. But you don't see what you did wrong. Oh, I'm so innocent. I don't know why everybody's so mad at me. This is the shit you do. I don't know if you look back at these episodes and realize like, oh, that's fucked up that what I did. That's that's why that I was acting that way. You don't look back the shit what you do, girl. I was so mad at you about that shit. And I'm like, why would she do that? Why would she do some devil ass shit like this? The whole world find out that was engaged. TMZ find out. Everybody my fucking was hitting them up. You know what I'm saying? And Trina was right. It was nobody goddamn business. But thanks to Tamar, she recorded it. On her, on live. Then, top it all off, you walked off and said, fuck Trina, fuck that bitch. All this going on. They need my nobody has to give you a goddamn permission about nothing, bitch. Nothing. That was disrespectful. You did look bad when you was walking off and cussing and going off. Fuck Trina. No, fuck you, bitch. For you not being happy. You get what I'm saying? Fuck you. Excuse my French. Excuse me. But she really pissed me off about this. She really pissed me off. You know what I'm saying? Then I saw all that another dinner. So Trent, Tamar, I mean Tawana's man. I think it was none of his business getting involved, but he did. You know what I'm saying about Tracy and Tamar. Tracy, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You got to speak up for your damn self, girl. Now, Tracy, we love you. Keep it real. You keep it 100% real. And I, we like you about that shit. But, girl, you was you had me hipping and hollering when you said, how the fuck? You got a motherfucking girlfriend, David. And then you have a whole nother boyfriend on the sideline. Uh, no, excuse me, a whole nother husband on the sideline. Girl, you had me hollering. When you said that shit, you had me hooping and hollering, girl. And this is why we like about you, Tracy. Because, Tracy, you don't give no fucks and no bullshit. You keep it real. But, girl, let's, let, let's put this shit on the table, girl. We have four counselors. No one cannot help y'all get the shit together. Until now... Y'all can't get this damn shit together. It's sad. It's so motherfucking sad and disgraceful and this this disappointing. Y'all can't get y'all shit together. Tracy, y'all hold you hold something thirty years ago. I understand you want that record deal. You you was pregnant at the time. You was this and you was that. You wanted that damn spot like what Tarina and and and, and, and Trina Tawanda and Tamar had. But you chose that life. You chose that life. You should just don't hold shit in, Tracy. We love you, girl. But don't hold shit in. You should have let that go right there. You need to say how you feel about Tamar. Tamar, you should just listen what your sister have to say. Because this is how she feels. This is how she motherfucking feels. You know what I'm saying? 
and then for and then tell me for you how how tr- Tracy so Tracy husband got Tamar together and talking about oh you should be in jail you don't get now that was disrespectful. You showed your whole motherfucking ass. And I know everybody was like, really, 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 Tamar? You really acting like this? You showed your whole ass. Honey, I know she had some more followers that damn day. Ooh, I knew she, they was going off in that. Oh, I know they going off now, honey. About you, Tamar. You was wrong. He said, listen. Tracy cannot motherfucking say nothing to y'all because y'all don't give a fuck about her. I have to be the one to, to she expressed to him and then it's so sad that he has to say, listen, this is how she feels, this is how she's, you know what I'm saying? But Tawanda, it's, I think it, it's your fault too. It's your fault too. You know what I'm saying? So, this whole episode was a whole hot-ass motherfucking mess. Again, before I, I end this video, I'm sorry for the cussing. I'm sorry for the language. The, I'm sorry for, for, for everything I have said out of whack. I know y'all laughing. I know y'all like, I'm glad that he's doing some, some reviews because this is what we are wishing. This is what we've been wanting. So, I'm glad that you guys tune in. And I'm glad that you watched the whole video. Even though you didn't, please hit that subscribe button. And tell me what you thought about this goddamn episode. Because this was a hot ass mess what Tamar motherfucking did. Now Tracy, I need you to express your feelings. Don't hold that shit in. Because once you hold that shit in, it's going to burn you. It's going to motherfucking bother you. It's going to motherfucking just, it's, it's going to haunt you. Don't hold shit from, don't hold shit, nothing from 30 years ago. Let it go, girl. Let it go. 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 Let that shit go. You know what I'm saying? And what Tamar, her uh, management done to, that's a hot ass mess. You know what I'm saying? I believe they should treat Tracy a little bit better than throwing her on the backbone. Like she ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? And then what Tamar said, nobody gives nobody gives a damn about your motherfucking husband. Bitch. Let me tell let me tell you about old Tamar. Hang on. Wait a minute. Bitch, that's because your motherfucking ass has got David and he seemed like he can't speak up for his motherfucking self, bitch. Don't think that you was hipping the holler on and social media and all this bullshit. Uh, TMZ, your mama has uh, speak up to the TMZ folks that Vince put my hands on my daughter on my ass. Now, don't, 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 don't do that, girl. Don't do that. Don't do that. We're not gonna, we ain't gonna do this. Now, honey, just because nobody can handle your motherfucking immature ass, don't think. Because I knew what Vince was going through with your ass. You was spoiled. You was still spoiled. You you was pouting all that shit, and he can't took that shit. He probably slapped the. I I do believe he she he was slapping the shit out you to get your ass together. I do believe that. Because you don't know how to motherfucking act when you go somewhere. He has to put you in your place. You know what I'm saying? He has to put you in your place. Because I will put you in your place once you act a fool and cutting up. And, and, and every time we go somewhere, we can't go nowhere without you acting a fool, having a pout and yell and, 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 and whine and carry on and shit. Like, you don't got no damn sense. Girl, you're 42 years damn old. Yes, you're the youngest, but you, you need to act your age and not act mature, uh, immature. Young folks act better than that. The way you acting. You get what I'm saying? So. You you just showed your whole motherfucking ass this episode. Your whole ass. I don't know y'all still got this shit together. I don't know. But this is what I have to say. Listen, I still love Tony. I still love Tawanda. I still love Tracy. I still um, love you, Tamar. 
But right or smart is wrong and wrong. And that day, you was motherfucking wrong. And I didn't like when you put went on live on Instagram that day. And I remember because I was watching the whole damn thing. And Tamer said, please put the phone down. 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 And you still had the phone recording. We saw the whole proposal and the whole everything. And I know people's like, we've been saw this on, on uh, Tamar's Instagram on live. That was selfish on your part. You wasn't, to me, you wasn't there. You didn't say congratulations. You did, but you said fuck uh, Trina. And I didn't like that at all. You showed whole negativity towards the dinner and towards the end of this trip. You did. You damn. You did. How you can't tell me you didn't? And I don't give a damn what nobody got damn say on here. She did. We can agree or disagree. But tell me what you thought while she was acting on this episode. Because she did. That pissed me the fuck off. You know what I'm saying? You know? David, listen. Let me say this right before I get off of here. The way Dave is acting... Towards Tamar. And Tamar's like treating him like he ain't nothing. It, 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 it's like the other way around. Like reversity. How Tamar, uh, Vince treated Tamar. Tamar is treating David the same way Vince treated Tamar. I don't think they're going to be together long. I'm just saying. I don't think they're going to be together long. They're not going to be together long. The way, I mean, David, you look like, I can't do this shit. I don't know what I got myself into. I don't know what the hell. But um, keep it up, honey, because I, I, I don't have time to be putting up no no immature, grown-ass woman shit. That's the, way he, that's the way he was giving me off on this episode. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think they're gonna be. I'm. I'm gonna be shot if they be last for a year. I'm gonna give it a year. But I, I'm in my in my feelings right now. Mm -mm, I don't think they're gonna last. They're gonna be like, mm -mm, I got time for this. Goodbye. Boop. You know what I'm saying? So oh, and another thing I wanna put out there, Tammy, Tony, you was you. He had me, girl. You had me laugh when you said. You saw Tawanda, she said, listen, I'll give you a Gucci bag. And Tawanda said, girl, you can give me a um, a, a Tesla. He's she telling me something, honey, I don't got the coins for that, honey. I can't do that, boo. Mm -mm. You know, I, I know what you mean. You kept the real Tony. Honey, I can't give you no Tesla. I don't got no Tesla money. I got it's Birdman, but, honey, I'm trying to get my bank, my, my, um, my, my bank counts and, and, and this, this, all this, all this. Bankruptcy out out my way, honey, because I had this for shit for years, and I'm still buying my fucking um sheets and shit. Hmm. Three accounts, honey. I love my sheets, but honey, I got this bankruptcy. I got honey. I got this bankruptcy, honey. She had me dying, honey. She got the real too. 